What's up everybody? I'm Random Girl, also known as Jen, and today we're doing a very special how to draw braids based on Disney's new animated movie, Frozen, that just came out. Ta-da! I'm not very good at actually braiding. I did my best, I did my best, but I know how to draw braids better than actually putting them in. So let's get drawing! So a couple tools of the trade I'm using today again, same basic things, seven millimeter pencil, regular sketch paper, erasers, and I'm gonna be using markers to try to help you guys differentiate the steps between drawing braids. We're just, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and take these guys out. As you may or may not know, most of Disney's Frozen characters all have braids in their hair. So there are three strands of hair and they overlap each other, one over the other. It gets really, confusing when you're trying to mentally picture how to draw all these crazy braids that like go in and out and over. It's it's really difficult to think about. I'm gonna try to break down a few different types of shortcuts for you guys. I'm gonna have two different ways to do it, so hopefully at least one of the ways work out really well for you. So let's go ahead and do the first one. Step number one is I want you guys to just draw a zigzag back and forth. Try to keep it as even as possible. And then step number two, I want you to extend out this top part from here and round it all the way up. See, I'm gonna draw little up arrows for you guys. And then step number three, we have this to start off with. And we have this one to start off with. Okay, and we're gonna come up from the middle of the previous braid. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna come down and connect it here. And then so we're gonna be about middle here, loop it around and down. Middle here, loop it around and down, connecting there. And you're gonna do that for all the rest of them. Make sure everything's rounded and not square or harsh lines. Braids are very soft. So those are the three steps of the first style I'm gonna show you how to do. First you do the zigzags, then you just simply extend the top parts so you have a good base to go off of. And then you continue the rest of these down, starting from around the middle point of the previous loop, coming down and connecting to those zigzag points. So then at the end, your braid is going to look something like this. And then I'll just bring this one all the way in to finish it off. And then here are some ribbons. Do a little egg type shape for the rest of the hair. Because each one of these little individual pockets is a section of hair. So you want to make sure that they each get treated as their own individual strands that are looping in and out of one another. So like if I color code it, this, this hair is going like this. There's a third section of hair that's allowing them to loop around each other all the way down the middle, but you don't really see that strand that much. So then and this third strand of hair, so see how this actually, even though to some people it might look like only two strands, it is three strands of hair that all form into one. Now I'm gonna show you the second way of drawing a braid. Okay, so this next way, is you're gonna start drawing a series of bumps that are connected at one point. So I'm gonna do, let's one, two, three, four, I'm gonna do five. So five bumps like that. And then you're gonna do the same type of bumps on the other side, but they're not, these bumps aren't starting exactly the same. These ones are gonna start around the midpoint of where the first one started. Maybe a little higher. So. This bump is the other side of the braid. So if you want a super thick braid, which would be kind of weird, but I guess you could do, or a super thin braid, depending on how wide you want this to be. So I'm gonna do it right here, and I'm gonna have it come down to about the middle of the next one. And then this one will come to where the, the tie is. This is step one. So the second step is you wanna take go from where this, this ends right here, and you wanna draw up about halfway to the next one. You do not want to connect these two. We're gonna connect them later. Don't connect these. This is just in the very middle of the braid. You're coming rounded, not straight jagged lines because hair is flowy and it's not metal. It's very flowy and very smooth. 
hopefully. I mean, my hair is frizzy as hell, but some people's hair is really smooth. So you want, the next step is to have this come up. And then step three is we wanna connect from this side downward. Swooping in like this. So connect from this top side down here. From where these guys connected down to this side. Okay, so that's step three. And then step four, anything that's not quite connected, you just wanna finish up and connect them all like so. So that's pretty much it guys. That is the basics of two different ways of how to draw braids. The first way is easier, has less steps, but it's not as real looking as the second way. Please let me know which way you like best, which one was easier for you to do, or which one did you guys just like to do the most. Send me your drawings. I wanna see fan art of Disney's Frozen. I'm excited to see it. Haven't seen it yet, totally planning on going. My really, really good friend, Emily, also known as Emily the Brave, is doing a review of Disney's Frozen character. Oh my goodness, this woman is a obsessed with Disney. She goes to Disney World like every week. I'm not even kidding. Leave me a like, a comment, a favorite. Subscribe to Channel Frederator for more. Actually, right now, I have a special bonus video for you guys of just a quick speed drawing of Anna and Elsa together from Frozen. So click somewhere, head to Channel Frederator, check out that video, subscribe to see it, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.